you don't necessarily think we need to the government should be pushing to do anything about it I don't agree with the climate change act I was one of the five MPs who voted against it and why don't you agree with it because it, it's the by the government's own estimations it's going to cost 400 billion pounds to implement uh, now that is a hell of a lot of money to implement now the UK is responsible for 2% of the world's carbon emissions so even if we were to eliminate all of our carbon emissions uh, it wouldn't make any difference at all to global carbon emissions because China for example their growth of carbon emissions each year is bigger than our total so unless we have an international agreement it's absolutely pointless taking unilateral action it's very costly it'll be damaging to our economy it'll put up our energy bills for people who are already struggling to pay them and for no net benefit at all because uh, the, the global carbon emissions won't be affected in any in any shape or form. So it, it's gesture politics. It's utterly futile. But isn't, could you not say it's better for our, our morals and our ethics to take an understanding that yes, what we do does have a negative effect on the planet, and even if it is a, a little change, at least it's a change for the better. Well, it doesn't make any change. It won't make any difference at all to global carbon emissions, and you know. I, We've got to be realistic. We're making some big decisions that are going to affect people's lives. And I don't want to see people's energy bills going up and up and up just because somebody in government feels better about themselves when they go to bed at night. You know, we, li we live in a, in, we've got to live in the real world, not in some, in some utopia. Uh, and the, in the real world, the climate, climate Change Act will make absolutely no difference to uh, levels of carbon emissions. So do you think it is all, all a waste of government time even discussing these issues? No, it's not a waste of time discussing them, but we've got to acknowledge that without international action, any, any unilateral action is pointless. And we were always told that the Climate Change Act was essential because if we led the way, other countries would follow. And we saw at the uh, Copenhagen summit that that clearly wasn't the case. We had led the way, we'd already passed the Climate Change Act, and the other countries showed that they weren't prepared to follow. So the whole rationale for the for the whole, for the thing was was completely wiped out in one fell swoop. Do you think there ever will be a universal agreement as to what what should be done? No, there there, there won't be because uh, inevitably countries act uh, in their own self interest. And in many ways, why should they? Why should China uh, want to uh, to take part in it? You know, they've got um, you know some of their better off. Uh, people in their country are earning a dollar a day. Uh, they've got swathes, literally hundreds of millions of people living in abject poverty. Why should they put their economic growth on hold um, in order to try and limit carbon emissions in their country? It's, you know, why, why should we want to entrench poverty in some third world countries uh, by expecting them to take action which really, in, in the scheme of things, is, 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 is probably unreasonable? given how poor some of those people are. It's just, I just don't ever see that, that change, and I think it's, it's not feasible. So rather than trying to change the world's climate, which is a ridiculous concept, really, if you sit back and think about it, what we should do is look at what the ramifications are, uh, perhaps, of any changes in our climate. And, of course, the climate's always changed. To say we've got climate change is like saying that, you know, tomorrow Sunday, of course, of course the climate change always has done. The issue is whether it's changing negatively, and there actually are some positive uh, um, results from the, the global warming. Some countries benefit from that. It's not all negative. What countries are they? So, really? well, some some cli some climates benefit from warmer weather. Some of the some really cold places where it's difficult to grow crops and things will actually benefit from uh, warmer weather, which actually helps harvest and, and things like that. So it's not all it isn't all a, a one way street. So what we should do is bank the benefits of any global warming, if there is any, and we've just learned recently that there hasn't been any for 15 years, um, even according to the people who are trying to whip up as big a frenzy as possible, that we haven't actually had any global warming for 15 years, which is why the name changed from global warming to climate change. Um, uh, and so if there, are, if there is global warming, let's bag the benefits and deal with the specific issues that might arise from it, rather than on some fanciful... Uh, uh, utopian trip to try and change the world's climate which is is just a ridiculous concept anyway